Some interesting matchups Saturday in college football. Rick Bozich, let's start with the now ninth-ranked Kentucky Wildcats, big favorites over Youngstown State. I don't think this is a trap no. game, but I am interested to see how sharp UK will be coming off that emotional win at Florida. What do you look for Saturday in Lexington? Well, uh, number one thing they need to do is make sure they get through it healthy. Uh, the next two games are Youngstown State and Northern Illinois. The next big game is at Ole Miss. Uh, you you want to see improvement still from the running game. It got better in the second half against Florida, but you want to see the offensive line continue to improve and continue to get the takeaways on defense. That was an also a key thing. No question. One to watch in Bloomington. WKU visits Indiana. Now, WKU nearly got Indiana in Bowling Green last year. These are two very different teams in 2022. WKU, I'll be honest, they've exceeded my expectations in their <laughs> opening two games. IU, though, maybe a little less so, especially after that game against Idaho. Hoosiers a touchdown favorite. I might take WKU taking those points. How about you? I agree with you. I mean, Western's had an extra week to prepare because yeah. they came back from Hawaii. Indiana obviously struggled in the first half, down 10-0 to Idaho. Uh, quarterback Connor Bazelag has been good, not great. His completion percentage is less than 60%. And you talk about Kentucky's running game, Indiana's has struggled even more. Western has confidence that they can win. And you, it, they've got two... Uh, FCS teams, I mean, uh, Power 5 teams left on their uh, schedule, Indiana and Auburn. This is a big right. game for them, you know, in terms of waving the flag and, <laughs> and celebrating after it's over. Uh, I think uh, some of the teams in Conference USA want a little respect. Yeah. They're starting to get it. We'll have all your college football coverage on air and online, WDRB.com.